Clark Energy commenced operations 25 years ago as a, as a diesel engine service company. In 1996, we went on to start to distribute the Yambaka product. Uh, Yambaka was uh, acquired in the mid-2000s by GE. Um, our growth now has led to us being one of the leading companies internationally for um, reciprocating engine uh, engineering, installation and maintenance. We commenced operations in, in, uh, in Africa in, in 1998, which led to our first sale in the continent in 2002 um, with uh, Dunlop uh, factory, a captive power plant in Lagos in Nigeria. We've then since grown both organically and through acquisition uh, across Africa, uh, including Tunisia, Algeria, Tanzania, um, South Africa, Botswana, Mozambique and finally Cameroon last year. So Clark Energy is the largest distributor and service provider for GE's gas engine business. Um, that has led us to develop power projects for a range of different applications. Gas engines are not just used for natural gas, uh, although that is the prevalent um, gas by, by number of megawatts installed. We also supply units to uh, biogas plants, to sewage works, to furnace gas installations, taking the gas from furnace, furnaces in, in, in South Africa. Uh, and also applications such as the utilisation of flare gas, um, that's particularly got applications in North Africa and also in the Niger Delta. Well, if you look at the European model or the, or the, or the, Western, Europe, or the Western world model of developing historically large centralised power stations supplying um, power across transmission networks across large areas we're finding that that's that's changing now to a more distributed generation pattern and that's what we're seeing in africa so we're seeing uh, the widespread use of embedded generation um, utilization of smaller power stations for ipps which is in the uh, sort of 10 to 100 megawatt stage we're also seeing the utilization of unusual gases such as gases from wastes so uh, including biogas sewage gas and, and landfill gas applications, so renewable energy using uh, gas from the decomposition of organic materials. Uh, as far as megawatts installed, we've got over 500 megawatts. Um, that is roughly 10% of our to total global installed fleet. Uh, I mentioned earlier the different countries we're going into. The, the, um, the, the, the largest and the most historic market has been Nigeria. Uh, Nigeria's got some of the largest gas reserves in Africa and also a, uh, a, a developed or a, or a semi-developed gas distribution network, particularly in the south of the country. So we're seeing a large number of installations there. So 300 megawatts of our 500 megawatts are in, um, in, in, in Nigeria. We've also grown into, uh, into East Africa. Uh, East Africa lacks widespread distribution of natural gas. The um, Tanzania has the, the largest particular reserve. So what we're seeing is the, the gas comes from the south um, of Tanzania up to Dar es Salaam where the industrial users are. We're seeing now with the construction of the second Chinese pipeline in, uh, in, in Tanzania that a wide range of new industries are starting to utilize this technology. So you've got an unreliable power distribution grid locally and um, the utilization of gas as a fuel helps to reduce costs, reduce carbon emissions for the, and, and increase reliability of power generation in, in, in those areas. So we're seeing uh, growth in captive power and IPP in Tanzania. In, uh, in Kenya, we worked with Tropical Power on the largest grid-connected biogas plant in uh, Sub-Saharan Africa, the uh, Gorge Farm Lake Nyavasha project. Here is quite a novel facility where they take waste from the flower farms uh, near Lake Naivasha, which is at 2,000 kilometers above sea level, take that waste, put it into anaerobic digesters, create uh, gas from that waste, and in turn, we supplied the power generation um, equipment to convert that into, into energy. In, in, in North Africa, we've got the largest base, uh, our main hub, hub office is in, in Tunisia, where we're seeing quite, quite a lot of success in, in the, in the co-generation market, so recovering both electricity and heat from the generators, um, and also flare gas utilisation where you've got uh, petroleum extraction and, and wasted gas that can be used for, for on-site power. And more recently, we're growing into uh, in Alger into Algeria, where we've recently secured a major project with Sevital, or a major series of projects with Sevital for captive power for for their industrial facilities. 
And then, and then finally, if you look to, into, to South and Southern Africa, South Africa, again, has some natural gas and has some uh, methane-rich gas distribution, but unfortunately, the, uh, the availability of that gas is currently limited. So we're waiting to see uh, further gas coming on from liquefied natural gas terminals. But they do have some unusual types of gases. With the, with the mineral-rich deposits in South Africa, you have a larger numbers of, of smelters, so furnace gas smelters. So we've, what we've done is been able to take some of the, 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 the off-gas, the waste gas from the furnaces, convert that into electricity through either uh, engines or combined heat and power technology and use it for reliable energy. And then we're also seeing in Mozambique, um, Mozambique has some pretty large gas reserves of its own, um, not yet fully utilized, they being deployed for independent power producers. And then there are also opportunities in Botswana for the utilization of coal bed methane um, for, for reliable power generation. So GE is well known for delivering the highest qualities of power generation equipment um, available on the market. Um, Clark Energy complements that through engineering, installation and maintenance. So um, the core GE product, the core high quality GE product can be sometimes as little as 15% of the capital cost of, of our installations. There's often a large amount of uh, EPC work, possibly site integration, possibly combined heat and power technology to maximize the recovery of the energy from the generators. Um, that is then combined with localized installation and commissioning support, and finally maintenance. So we come first and foremost from a service background. Um, it's fine supplying and selling equipment, but the most important thing for the customer is that equipment runs and they have reliable power. So we, we put large amounts of in investment into the after sales support, to the maintenance, to the part stock holding, um, to oil uh, and in-country resources for that maintenance. to have a, a positive impact. So our installations that themselves typically are high efficiency, so combined heat and power has efficiencies of up to 90% for the fuel, which means lower costs, lower carbon emissions than comparable technologies. We also uh, deploy renewable energy installations, so generating power from waste, which I've mentioned before. Um, that coupled, we have a policy of localization, so we've got a strong belief that the local people of the local country understand the market, understand the customers, better than expats. That said, there's often a need, particularly in greenfield um, uh, establishments, to, to, to impart a degree of training and knowledge for, for the individual team members. So what we do there is we seed a new new installation with or a new a new operation with an expatriate. He then uh, takes some local people under his wing, trains them up in situ, and then we also send those team members to both um, the factory in Austria, the GE factory, and also here in Knowsley, um, train them up to the highest standards and then send them back to act as the, the, the kind of the core of the existing team and then we pull the expatriate support out as that team grows locally. Uh, Clark Energy would like to see the uh, continued deployment of high efficiency, reliable um, power generation equipment across the continent using Africa's domestic resources. So using resources such as natural gas, such as biogas, um, for the best um, long-term sustainable development for African countries. Uh, Clark Energy conti continues to seek to grow both organically and through acquisition of appropriate companies globally. Um, we're building strong hubs in Africa, both North, East, South and West now, and we're seeking to grow into the surrounding countries as um, sources for power generation uh, in those areas increases.